Z score and T score. What's the difference between those scores? Z score is a standard score. It has a normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. The shape of the Z-score distribution is a pill shaped with a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. The shape of Z distribution is the same as a raw distribution. When a raw data is transformed into Z distribution, then the shape of the bell um, for the normal curve is similar in both. So here in the left hand side, a histogram for raw data that are normally distributed with a bell shaped curve, normal curve inserted. The shape of the curve indicates that the distribution of the data is normal and this data has a mean as shown here in the stat um, table a mean of uh, 96.8 and a standard deviation of 20.3 once this data is transformed into z score as shown here in the right hand side histogram plot the data still normally distributed the shape of the curve is similar in both and the uh, curve in the Z score or Z distribution have a mean of uh, zero and standard deviation of uh, one. So transforming the data or the raw data into Z score does not change the distribution of the data. The data stays normal so the z score is for standardizing the data so why do we do a z score conversion because it allows calculating the probability of scores occurring within standard normal distribution and also it permit comparison between scores in different uh, variables or groups when those variables or groups are measured at different units or at different scales. The value for the Z scores can be positive, negative, or zero. A positive Z score indicates that the raw score is higher than the mean, which is equal to zero. And the negative z-score reveals that the raw score is less than the mean. And the z-score of a value of zero indicates that the raw score is equal to the mean. So, when we should use the z-score when we have a sample size that is greater than 30 and the population standard deviation is known how do we calculate the z score by using the equation given here such as z equal to x minus the mean of the sample divided by the standard deviation of the sample uh, another way is to calculate the z score by the equation which is x minus the mean population divided by the standard deviation of the population. T-score on other hand again it is normally distributed and it is a standardized score. The T-score distribution have a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So that's the difference between Z score and T score. Z score has a mean of zero and standard deviation of one and T score has a mean of 50 and standard deviation of 
10. So Z score can be converted into T score by the following equation. Adding a 50 plus the Z score multiplied by 10. On the left hand side here a histogram plot showing a raw data that is normally distributed with a bell shaped curve that has a mean of 96.8 and a standard deviation of 20.3. When this data is transformed into Z score as shown in the uh, second plot here histogram the shape of the curve of or the shape of the distribution still and remains the same however the mean for the z-score is equal to zero as shown here in the stat table and the standard deviation is one once this z-score is again converted into t-score the histogram plot here shows that the distribution is normally and the curve is bell shaped curve with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So from this it is possible to convert the data or the raw data into T-score by first convert them into Z-score and then into T-score. So when to use the T-score? We use the T-score when the sample size is less than 30 and when the population standard deviation is unknown. It is commonly used this T-score. The equation for T-score calculation is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean divided by uh, the standard error which is equal to the standard deviation of the sample divided by the square root of n.